Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean episode number 8. Alright, the previous episode, um, we, we got into a situation where there's like a murder mystery kind of thing that's happening. Um, there are five people, it was five wasn't it? One, two, yeah, something like that. Five people who are outside, yeah, five people, I remember it. There were five people who were let outside of the prison gate to do some volunteering work and like you know the one of the inmates died uh the police officer died and something someone is killing off people one by one now i kind of went back and saw like you know the uh the portion where they were showing which characters came outside i saw that the girl with the tanned girl was the one who was not shown when they came outside the prison gates and like you know then uh, in 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 the scene suddenly she pops up like my guess is that she is probably the imposter out of the five of them um but let's see what happens um one of the girls the green haired girl she they show us her sh that she died but she obviously is one of the main characters so i don't think she has died probably something is going on <laughs> So a lot of things are kind of like you know shrouded in mystery we also met the enemy stand it's like little like you know kind of like it's like part of a big not part of a big stand but those were little stands which can kind of uh you know like gather up together to make a bigger one and Jolene helped Hermes out by you know like by her quick thinking Hermes also kind of got out of the situation using her quick thinking as well and currently we are trying to drag down the stand user so Hermes and Jolene has confronted everyone. Let's see what happens. So yeah, let's get started with this video. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Think it whichever is your preference and let's start. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see. This girl, I think like, I think she's the imposter. This girl, I don't know, I might be wrong though. <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, what are you saying? Like they don't know about stands atro okay okay oh oh no everyone's oh my god suspecting everyone Now, no split. Wait. Oh. Wait, really? Oh. Wait, am I wrong? No, wait. Oh. The hand got... Oh, okay, okay. She did not move. So she wasn't able to see the stand. Okay, she's not the one. No. She's not the one. <laughs> no, Hermes. Well, wait, 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 is, is this, 
Oh, the stand is something else. No, wait. Are they being controlled? I think they're being controlled or something. No, they've been controlled. Okay, so that might that means the girl we saw before, the green haired girl, she might be the one. Whoa. Oh no. They're dead. The disc, the discs are out. Oh my god, this this person is also Wait, so I feel like I, I said this in the previous episode when I said that maybe the girl, the green haired girl who died in the beginning, maybe she is the one who is using the stand, who is the uh, villain here. Because Jojo kind of does this, I've, like, you know, we've seen this before as well, the whole thing with uh, Polnareff and, you know, like Kakyo in, they were enemies once, but they became friends. So from the opening, I'm guessing that girl is one of the main characters who will join the crew. So I was saying that maybe, maybe she is like, you know, the enemy currently and probably in this episode they'll fight and she'll like, you know, become their friend or something. But in the previous episode when she died in the beginning, I thought that no, maybe not. Maybe it's something else. But now that we are seeing that it's like a, the stand is kind of a little bit unique. It can kill, like, you know, it kills other people and like takes their forms. Maybe that girl is the one who is the enemy here, the green haired girl. Because, you know, like she made it seem as if she died in the beginning, so no one would suspect her. And then she's like, you know, controlling all the other characters and trying to stop Jolene and Hermes. Yeah, let's go that way, but let's just see. Ah, oh, yep, the dead bodies. Divided parts of me have now formed into one. Oh boy. Yeah. I think it's a green haired girl, most probably. Wait, what? Organism? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so I'm wrong. Oh. Okay, makes sense. Needs water to live. Okay. Oh yeah, that's true. Like, how can it talk? Who fight us? FF. Whoa. Intellect exists a long wow what this The stand is pretty <laughs> Wow Yeah Okay calm down My god 
runs quickly. Uh, behind you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh no. No, you can. You took. Oh no. You two can split off. There you go, split off. There you go. Yeah. Get it. Yes. Quick! MS. Yeah, and it's good to see that she actually took the dangerous job herself because, you know, she has to go 50 meters out. Yeah. Okay. Oh! Oh, she duplicated it. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yep. Ah! Yes! What the? Oh no, it can, oh boy. Yeah, it can do that. Oh my God. Oh no, 50 meters. Wait. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, it's taking in the moisture. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Quick. Yep. Ah! <laughs> the poses. Oh boy, here we go. Huh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, what is his goal? What? Oh! Wait, what? No, I think she's trying to do something else. What's she trying to do? Oh! Oh my god!
Oh my god. Oh no. Huh? Oh, wait. Wait, what's happening? What the? Oh, okay. But how will she get out of this situation? Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Oh. That's what she was trying to do. Why is this stand so hell bent on protecting the discs? I, I can understand if he was very loyal to White Snake. <laughs> yes. Nice. Oh. There you go. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. What the? Wait, what? Wait, why? I'm The <laughs> way she said <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking she is not that loyal to White Snake, so why is she so hell bent on protecting it? Yeah. Own existence. This is life for gratitude at her. Yeah, true. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Disc of danger. Uh, sunburn, no cough. Sir. I throw death from explosion. Wait, so what happened to the green haired girl? I doubt she's dead. She's one of the main characters. Wait, she found it? It's, it's a stand, so. Okay. Oh my god! Whoa! That was very fast. I think something's going on. Okay. Oh, I understand now why she's a main character. This, this is Foo Fighters. The stand took, took, okay. 
Okay, I understand now. Understandable, I understand now. <laughs> Yeah, she's going to go to prison. What about the water? Atro. It atro, okay. What? That's a weird dream. What? <laughs> That's we what? Yeah. Ah! Okay. Okay, calm down. <laughs> oh my god, what the Ah, uh, no, okay. He's drinking it. Okay. Wh what? Oh. Oh, that's why it, okay. It, it rejected Jolene. All right, understandable. Hmm. Memory. Okay, understandable. Maybe something related to Dio or something. He wants to know. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, what are they going to explain? Okay. Yeah. All right. Understandable. He'll have a little amnesia, but still. But at least he'll get his soul back. Okay. What? Um Okay. Yeah. Okay. Boy, here we go. Ah. Uh. It was just a bit. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Wait, who's it? Oh, oh, is is this the guy? Father Pucci. Oh, so this guy's not a prisoner. Wait. Also, oh, this is the main villain, I'm guessing? Father Pucci. Okay, a lot of things got revealed in this episode. Um, first of all, from the opening, like, you know, I was thinking, like, alright, so, in the opening, we're seeing 
the green haired girl that means she's probably the main one of the main characters and that's why you know like suddenly seeing her die i was like okay something must be going on maybe maybe she has a stand and that's how you know she's using it to uh make it seem as if she's dead but probably she'll pop out later on and join us i was thinking along that line turns out it was kind of correct but in a weird way i was also talking about how maybe the green haired girl is the one who is the mastermind behind this like you know the killings and she made it seem as if she died so that she can uh, you know like trap the other girls and make them fight against each other and you know like ultimately finish all of them i thought that's what the plan was and maybe jolene after this will go is going to find that out defeat her and she'll join us i thought it was going to go in that line in a way that is kind of what happened i guess because <laughs> the enemy did become our friend and but in in a, in a different way it was actually like that girl is actually dead but the one who took over it is the enemy that is um foo fighters okay that's the end so <laughs> in a weird way it it did happen like that the enemy did become our friend but in in a different manner <laughs> okay and yeah now it makes sense that you know like he she died and since we helped foo fighters out uh uh she decided to help us out in turn and you know she's going to join us after this uh using At atro i think that was her name or Al atro wait a minute what was the name something like that atro okay atro not atro atro okay atro hmm. all right so anyways uh let's uh, see okay this this episode now i was saying that wait a minute so so what was that about you know in the previous episode i do remember when i went back and checked the uh you know uh wait wait just a second no wait one thing doesn't answer like you know we don't have one answer yet what was the whole thing about one extra person getting in like if if this stand was actually someone who's like a you know like an organism you know like a non-living organism if this stand is something like that and you know it was like waiting in the i think swamp and when the uh, uh what do you call it when, when the inmates came it killed them took over their bodies like all that i understand so what was that about the sixth person like there was an extra person i feel like like they said that there's an extra person within the five people and i like you know obviously i did count there were six people you know one is atro uh jolene uh, hermes uh the two girls you know the the one with the weird eyes and the other girl uh the black haired girl and then the tan girl six six girls so what wait that 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 did not get answered like where did where did we get an extra person from then did they answer that question here did i miss it obviously i can't find it out now i'll have to check everything out one by one but okay so like let me know in the comment section if this got answered or did i just miss it or something like there's supposed to be five people so how did it become six people then like that's what i was basing my deduction on i was like i went in the previous episode i went back to the video and i saw like i was like okay let's check out how many people there are i checked it out i saw that yeah there are five people uh, and the girl who was tanned the tanned girl uh, wearing the tank top uh she she was the only one who i didn't see within the five people so i was like okay maybe this girl is the imposter you know, that's how i based my deduction on and now like i'm seeing that 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 question doesn't even get answered like who was the sixth person then how did the sixth person get included like foo fighters were was not one of them at the beginning when they came foo fighters killed them and then took over the body so how did we suddenly get a sixth person that like that doesn't make sense like let me know in the comment section if i actually missed something and maybe they actually answered this in this episode and i probably missed it or something or if they really did not answer that question or, or if there is some other implications here 
anyways let me know in the comment section all right so this episode um we meet foo fighters um, it's a uh, okay it's a uh, organism where is it okay you're misunderstanding Hermes he is the stand user himself he's an organism there you go he's a living creature who received life and power through the discs the god of the discs wasn't human living creature okay um you mean the conglomeration of those tiny things so i'm guessing one of those tiny things got hands on the disc and that's how it was able to get a stand and get like uh you know like uh what do you call it like in intellect human intellect it must be using the water in the bodies vic uh, of the victim to move on land and guard the shed all right okay so that explains it now here's the thing so that means what how did this thing get its hand on the um disc like <laughs> there's a lot of things that actually like you know are kind of weird here for example how did it suddenly get this power like i doubt i think pucci the father pucci is the main antagonist here who's uh like you know whose uh stand is the white snake so i'm guessing so so what happened like one day suddenly pucci came here to see his beloved collection of discs and then she, he it's she suddenly saw like one of these organisms and what inserted the disc in the organism to give it a power like is that how it happened or it was like like it doesn't really it's kind of weird if you think about it like either this thing actually got its hand on the disc itself like that would make more sense you know like maybe um this organism suddenly came in contact with one of the discs and suddenly gained intellect and maybe Pucci saw that later on and Pucci was like you know what just keep an eye on this place and you know like protect it from everyone and that itself was like you know like Foo Fighters own uh, decision as well because she wanted to protect that those days because those discs were kind of like the thing that actually gave her intellect that's why it's kind of like her parent in a way if you call it if you think about it in that way so that's why Foo Fighters also wanted to protect it. So Foo Fighters was, was like, yeah, fine, I'll do it. So if this something like this happened, it makes more sense. <laughs> but the, but what doesn't make sense if, if this was something that was actually deliberately given to the organism by uh, Father Pucci? Like that, that would be weird because that would mean that it's like Father Pucci suddenly inserted a disc into one of the organisms <laughs> that would be unusual i have to say so yeah that's one thing um <laughs> like i'm actually thinking how did she get her hands on the disc maybe it's the former thing that i said you know like um it suddenly came in contact with it and gained intelligence and according to the stand he does say that it's problem mis Probabilistically wrong, uh, pro probabilistically wrong to assume that life was born spontaneously on earth okay um the power of intellect already existed in the universe yeah and it created the origin of life okay so yes yeah, so as, as uh Julian kind of uh answers the question when Hermes asks like what is he saying uh, uh, Jolene says that according to the stand, according to Foo Fighters, intellect was something that has already been, uh, like you know, present in all organisms, all living organisms, and and so that's why it's kind of wrong to think that yeah, only humans have intellect, like you know, all living things have intellect, and by using like you know, getting help from the disc, uh, you know, like this, uh, this thing got was able to uh, get a uh, will and was able to use its intellect to become like a full-fledged person and act like a human being so probably because of that now so okay now i do wonder that means uh 
okay there's a few things that are really not answered here i feel like they're going to give us answers another thing that i i i feel nagging in the back of my head is that um so what happened did 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 this uh this organism get only its hand on a stand disk or did it get both a stand and a memory disk and if it got hands on both on a stand disk and a memory disk whose memory did it inherit that's another thing that i'm thinking about um like obviously we know that it got its hand on a stand disk yeah like otherwise why would it be able to do this anyways i'll stop thinking there's a lot of things that i could actually like you know think about like uh like if i if i actually think more yeah let me just stop like i'm i'm getting more confused because there's a lot of questions that at least this episode did not answer and i feel like like you know probably they will be answered in the future um all right anyways uh so okay so <clears throat> this stand foo fighters now i always not always sorry uh, i kind of felt this when it was talking which kind of get proved uh it was prioritizing the stand disc a bit too much now obviously i thought i like you know when it suddenly went out to protect the discs you know to get its hand on it when the tractor went away i was like is why is this stand so loyal to pucci because like he's probably trying to throw away its life as well and like you know that there must be some other reason and that kind of gets answered in the later part when julian also asks not julian Hermes also asks the same question that and uh, why did you save it and jolene answers it jolene says that yeah this thing is a little bit different it actually is not loyal to pucci it's doing this because of some other reason and <clears throat> now i do wonder then did jolene already like you know did jolene already think already realize this otherwise why would she like you know use the tractor in that situation like here's the thing she gets into the uh, like you know room uh, not room sorry in, into that that barn thing and the tractor is there foo fighters is there the foo fighters is trying to like you know protect the discs over there he opened all the taps and the water is flowing and julian kind of stops and talks with foo fighters yeah i think she realized at that moment you know she realized at that moment when foo fighter says something which kind of was weird at that at that part at least foo fighters uh, when jolene asks like so what happens like does pale uh, white snake always come here and hang around or something is that what happens and uh, foo fighters was like no like you know like he comes one or two times i have not even seen him i think he says something like that didn't he um okay here it is I don't understand why you would come here to die. Um, well, Pale Snake, was it? Who knows? I've never seen him. Okay, that does answer my question. I was kind of asking another question. I was saying, like, did White Snake give this ability to her? No, I think she actually got it by herself. Uh, because she herself says that I, I, you know, I, have, I, I don't know White Snake. All right. Um, but yeah. I think this is the time when Jolene understood that yeah something is wrong you know like he act like you know Foo Fighters was acting very nonchalantly when asked about White Snake she was like ah oh, yeah I've maybe she, he comes here I don't know I've not seen him that obviously does not show that <laughs> that that no nah, that that shows that she is not that much loyal to White Snake or doesn't even care about it that much I'm I'm sure Jolene probably put. Uh, the dots together here and she realized that maybe she is not as loyal to white snake as i'm thinking it to be so that's when i think she made her plan to actually test that out use the tractor and you know like make it go through the field and if her uh deduction is correct that yeah she's not that much um uh loyal to white snake that would mean that it's not 
that the loyalty towards white sake that's why she's not trying to protect the discs it's about it's probably about something else something personal and that's why she used the tractor to test that out and if her loyalty really uh like either way i think she would have gone there you know like this is this was like a plan that jolene made which would work either way if like here's the thing if foo fighters uh was not loyal to white snake which is what it actually is that would mean she has some other personal reason why she's protecting it that would mean that reason is very like you know precious to her and she would like you know try to use her life to protect the discs so if that's the case then if the tractors go away with the discs she, she will ignore jolene go towards the discs and you know like try to protect it with its life and jolene would be safe from you know like that situation at least that's one thing another thing uh, another instance if uh, foo fighters was actually loyal to white snake then obviously it would also go and chase the discs when the tractors go away because obviously because of the loyalty towards white snake and would leave jolene alone al al you know uh, alone saving her at that moment because at that moment jolene was almost about to die you know like when she was saying oh i'm going to take control of you i'm going to take make you my host or something she, she, he said yeah so that's that time she was almost going to die the tractor is the one that saved her so either way in either instance Foo Fighters would go and chase the tractor and it would end up saving Jolene. So this was a plan which would work either way. And, you know, like, uh, and she would realize <coughs> what was actually going on, whether her loyalty is that much towards White Snake or it is something else. And we did get our answer there because it used, was almost dying at that moment, but still it tried to go and protect the discs. And Jolene got her answer. And that's why she decided to actually save it. And um, like the thing that Julian says here is that um, where is it? Yeah, uh, Julian says that it's not human. It doesn't understand evil, and that's a very interesting point and line. I have to say that as Irma says, like I'm sure a lot of people will have the same. Uh, like you know uh, same thought process as Hermes they'll say that oh why are you not defeating it? it it's something which killed so many people you know so like why are you saving it it's evil but as Julian says this is something that has no concept or no understanding of what it's what is evil or what is not because this is like a new organism a, a living thing which doesn't understand good or bad it, it does not understand morality you know it, it has it, it, it has no moral compass it doesn't understand what is good or bad so like you know like that that would mean that it it didn't understand that killing is bad and you know like if, for it everything was normal for it and that's why foo fighters killed those persons and you know like they didn't even think about anything now obviously that would not mean that killing people is okay if you don't have any understanding of it but now like you know since jolene uh, saved uh, foo fighters as she did after that she taught her that yeah you know what don't kill people from here onwards that's a bad thing that's something that you know, someone shouldn't do and you know like um don't do it ever again now from here onward if foo fighters still keeps killing people that would be evil but before that before it had like a concept of what's evil and what's not evil you know like that would like you know like that that's like a little exception i have to say and it's very good like you know the very point that jolene makes it is very good and it's it's very um appropriate uh, like she says that yeah like it, it it has no understanding of evil so that's why we should not kill it we teach it stuff and like you know it, it might help us out as well and she even like you know give uh, white snake a proper you know counter uh, proposal she says that like don't work for white snake work for us instead <laughs> and the only thing that i'm actually concerned about is my dad's like you know discs and we won't try to take these discs from you and we'll like you know like we'll help you 
And now here's another thing that is also another interesting thing that Jolene said here is that um, why was this Foo Fighters actually protecting the discs even using, uh, you know, its life? Okay, here it is. Though it knows its body will wither away, it chased after the discs. It was guarding the discs to prove its own existence. The discs gave it ability and intellect. It risked is his life for the gratitude it has to be able to exist. Yes, I was right. Okay, so I was kind of right. I was I was thinking of this in in a similar manner. I was talking about being a parent, you know, like the, like it for for Foo Fighters. I'm guessing the discs were kind of like someone who gave birth to it. You know, it was like a parent. That's why it was like protecting it, even using its life. And Jolene kind of says the same thing as well. It's, it's something that gave it reason, uh, reason and ability to exist. That's why it is to show its gratitude. Uh, Foo Fighters was protecting it because the, those discs were something that affirmed its existence. And it's kind of the same that I, the way I, I thought and as you know, like as well. And uh, yeah, but it's more technical. Jolie's explanation is a bit more technical and my explanation is a bit more, um, what do you call it? Uh, emotional, I can say. <laughs> That's the basic difference. And uh, yeah, I, I like Jolie's answer. Like, you know, it's like, it's actually trying to protect something that actually gave it identity. So yeah, that's that's a better answer. Um. Anyways, okay. Uh, now, here again, while I was watching this uh, episode, at that moment, I was thinking, why did uh, Whitesnake actually keep these discs outside, you know, in, in the barn? Like, did it, like, you know, then why did it steal it if, if she actually kept it in such low security? And I was like, uh, like, I, 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 at the beginning, I was thinking, like, obviously, Jotaro's stand will not be in here. Obviously, it won't be here because... Who, who, who would even do something like that like you know like steal Jotaro's ability and then keep it like in a barn with nothing no security but then in this episode when I was watching I was like wait a minute how did Jotaro's stand come up here like like did Pale Snake did not uh, White Snake was really not that concerned about it getting stolen or something then then why did he like you know take it from Jotaro in the first place and it did give us our answer, like the answer that I was trying to think about, like why did he put all of these discs in here? So basically, according to, um, no, according, who said that? I think it was Jolene, no. Anyways, like the answer that we get is that White Snake actually needed the memory. Jotaro's memory, maybe maybe there's something important in the memory, maybe something related to Dio or something, you know, that he knows. And that's what he wanted. He, he really didn't care about the stand or something like that. So that's why he just left it over here. And uh, yeah, like that makes sense, you know, like uh, that's why. And, and here's another good thing is that there's another thing that I was a bit concerned about when I saw Jotaro's body, like, you know, like from when the uh, discs were taken and he almost died at that time i was also concerned about how was he going to survive because um you know like the body's going to rot away i thought maybe it was going to like you know they were going to put it in liquid nitrogen or something some way preserve the body or something they're going to do but i think that won't be needed after this because like you know she got her the stand and uh, disc so she can just send it to the speed uh, uh, wagon corporation and, and they will insert it within Jotaro and Jotaro will get his soul back. Even though he will be missing his memory, at least he'll be alive. His body won't rot away. So that answers my question. And uh, yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, and then like, you know, we see Foo Fighters taking Atro's, Atro, Atro. Yeah, I think that was her, how her name was pronounced. Atro's. Uh, body taking control of it <laughs> and like wait a minute oh okay i was thinking like how did she get her memories it was memories but she does answer that question as well she's saying that according to the memory in this body so yeah obviously it makes sense you know like no wait a minute um 
okay like as as thinking like you know like like obviously according to this you know part six there are two types of discs uh the stand disc which is the soul the memory disc which contains the memory and probably that was the reason why you know like um, when atro died and when uh, foo fighters took control of the body um she retained she retained the memories because the discs were not taken out of her and that's why she's saying that according to the memory in this body her name is atro and this and that she was giving the background information and some weird backstory she was saying something like oh she wanted to be kidnapped and then when she grew up she kidnapped someone else like what <laughs> oh my god and that's why she got captured and was in prison my god <laughs> bizarre backstory <laughs> but yeah anyways um so yeah what i was thinking about is that i don't know like i feel like if the body died wouldn't the memory also die with it like isn't that how it goes like if like this is clearly now now obviously like if the body is alive the memory can be extracted just like how uh, we did it with jotaro you know his body was alive so if, uh, white snake took away the memory and the you know, stand uh, discs and the body went in a comatose state and if it was if it remained like that it would like you know gradually rot away that was what was going to happen but that was because the body was alive when the discs were extracted atro however she died so wouldn't her memory disc and her soul disc die alongside her so how was this possible like how did uh, foo fighters when she got inside atro's body how did she suddenly say that oh according to her memory in the body her name is atro now here's another thing i do know there's another thing called muscular memory but that's something different you know muscular memory is something which is like you know like which is like a reflex type of thing for example you play guitar and there will be a time when you don't even think about which you know strings to press and what to do because your muscle will remember it muscular memory might be retained you know uh, even if the body dies and if the body is given life again the muscular memory might get retained because the muscle is all okay and the memory like you know is i don't know probably is in the muscles but like you know it would make more sense for the actual memory to die alongside the body if the body dies so th this is another question that's nagging me like atro died her memory was not extracted before it died so shouldn't her memory also die alongside it like these are all the things that i'm thinking uh, maybe i'm thinking too a bit too much you know like <laughs> maybe maybe i should just you know just enjoy it without going into the technicalities but yeah this is another asked question that's actually bothering me but anyways for now i'll like you know like like you know for now i'll say that okay atro you know he foo fighters got the memory from her body or some way or the other he was able to get the uh um, atro's memory and yeah that's that i'll stop thinking about it uh okay that was that and then like you know we see atro doing stuff again weird stuff <laughs> it needs to understand <laughs> what it is to be an actual human and act normally <laughs> like licking the ground licking the blood <laughs> my god and uh yeah it, it did i'm um, like you know like uh, find out a way to <laughs> hide the disc <laughs> so that it does not get like you know gets out when uh, their body checked anyways um and then we see white snake again white snake says that oh i actually now this answers another question which is uh why was jolene even like you know like imprisoned in the first place why did white snake do that if his goal was jotaro it it makes more sense because uh, as he himself explains here that i use jolene as a bait and he he probably thought that ah, i'll use her as a bait he'll she'll probably die sooner or later i don't care my only concern is jotaro's uh, memory but now that she he is realizing that yep i made a little mistake i kind of underestimated jolene so i should probably start thinking about her as well and that's what she says and in the end we see a person um father pucci i think 
okay the the guard comes and he says that you must return to the prison soon and oh boy and then we see that the finger with the you know the foo fighters the thing and that that probably means that uh pucci also realized that yeah there is another person another stand user within them which is foo fighters okay um all right so one thing i'm trying to check out here yeah father pucci he says a moment please i'll be staying here until i give the sac sacrament on sunday okay so yeah she so she's like he uh, not she sorry he is a father i'm guessing and he's not an inmate that makes sense yeah okay so i i, I up, up until now i thought that he the, the one who was using white snake was an inmate but no it's a it's a father all right understand okay so yeah that was it wow that was a long discussion <laughs> so yeah as i said i have a few questions that are still kind of nagging me the biggest one being uh, the memory and the whole thing and no the biggest one being the whole thing with the five inmates you know five and six inmates but like what was that about like i feel like that doesn't get answered in this episode or maybe i just missed it that was the biggest question i have and obviously the other one the whole thing with the memory as well so anyways if you guys have any answer let me know in the comment section uh, but anyways yeah that's uh, maybe i just missed it you know maybe maybe like you know like it wouldn't actually surprise me if i actually maybe they gave the answer and i actually missed it or something but yeah since you know like i'm reacting like there's a lot of portions that i i'm kind like you know like it usually i kind of uh i'm unable to pay attention too much and because like you know i'm commentating <laughs> so yeah anyways let me know whichever it is let me know in the comment section but yeah so anyways that was it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to jojo's bizarre adventure uh stone ocean episode number eight so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys uh, probably tomorrow. I'll, I'll try to make another video tomorrow. Tomorrow with another episode of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.